Hello, welcome to Buying on a Budget. My name is Fei. Today I'm going to review a lens which I bought recently and I want to share my first impression with you and why I bought it. This lens is the Sigma 56mm f1.4 for Micro Four Third. In fact, I'm filming me right now, which is a different style I used to film myself. I usually use a wide angle, but right now I'm using a telephoto, which is quite far away from my camera, which gives some kind of professional look. And why I bought it? This lens is originally for APS-C, for Sony APS-C, which is very good. But why would I buy the Micro Four Third? version of such lens using it on my Panasonic G9 and there are several reasons but I'm gonna tell you why I quite don't like this lens for some reason and some people might not want to buy this first of all this lens is designed for APS-C camera so this lens is heavy heavier than the counterpart uh, offering by for example Panasonic 42.5mm f1.7 which has lens stabilization as well and 45mm f1.8 offering by uh, Olympus which is also a great lens and quite a bit cheaper than this lens and they're both lighter than Sigma 56mm by quite a bit this lens Sigma is quite heavy 300 grams which is like a premium kit lens for example, 12 to 16 mm f2.8 to 4 penny Leica, that lens is around the same weight with this Sigma lens. So this lens is actually quite heavy, but with such heavy build, the build quality is actually quite great. Although it's plastic, it's good grade plastic. I feel it's very sturdy. However, I feel like it quite easily to collect dirt and dust and you can feel there will be a fraction or stickiness of this lens which is good if you want to use the manual focus it's very precise in my opinion I usually film my videos with manual focus however talk about focusing I'm using the auto focusing right now and you can tell me if this is working good or not however in photo I feel like it's good because Panasonic uses uh, contrast detecting focusing system and I think it's working great and I shoot my portrait usually well even with AFC or AFS they are fast they're accurate you know not as fast as uh, the DFD lenses offered by uh, Panasonic but it's quite accurate it's not as fast but it's accurate and the sharpness is there but why would I buy this lens however that's the question you know it's heavy and sometimes you don't feel like bringing this outside. I think it all comes down to bokeh. You know, a lot of people complain Micro Four Third don't have good bokeh. But this lens offered excellent bokeh and good image quality, excellent sharpness and great renditioning. And I think if you want bokeh, this is the lens for you to buy. It's cheaper than the Olympus 75mm f1.8 and it's cheaper than the Panasonic Leica 42.5 f1.2 by quite a bit. But this lens offers you premium result. Better than, uh, I mean, this is created by Sigma, so you know their characteristic. And there was some rumor that Olympus 75mm f1.8 is also designed by Sigma. So Sigma knows how to create sharp lens Olympus 75mm f1.8 is praised as the sharpest lens and the best lens in Micro Four Third and I think this lens had that uh, characteristic as well and the bokeh is amazing you think about this this lens gives you more sh bokeh more out of background and it beautiful bokeh than the Penny Leica 42.5 f1.2 because it is longer than that lens and therefore you can get more shallow depth of view so I think that is very excellent this lens is a specialist it's for someone who uses Micro Four Third but wants delicious bokeh just like what you can get from APS-C and full frame camera and I think that balances well I mean I don't bring this lens that often all the time but when I bring it I think I get amazing result and I'm very happy with it and you should portrait with your friends or shoot portrait of myself I see those photos I'm very uh, shocked by the result that I get 
from this little lens. Affordable price premium result is what I think this lens ultimately is offering. Although it is heavier than I would like, but the result you can get from this lens is just stunning. It, the, the bokeh, the sharpness, smooth, beautiful out of background image I can get from this lens is so great. And it is on par with some like a branded lens and Olympus Pro lens, but with a Sigma affordable budget price tag and I enjoy using it and I will continue trying out using this lens. And I think that's it pretty much. I think this is the single reason for you to buy this lens and that's what I bought it for. This is not a throughout with you. I think it's just a first impression and my thought process behind this thing. And I think it's very good paired with my Panasonic G9 which has a good IPS as well and but if you are concerned with weight if you are concerned with uh, focusing let's see you look at the video and think about this and I hope this video helped you to decide whether you want to buy this lens or not uh, so far I'm very happy with it but stay tuned subscribe for my future review although I'm not posting very often recently because I'm working on other channel you see, I have to actually create something in order to reveal something honestly and actually share you with my experience. I just can't keep buying things and then I don't even use it, right? So I think this is a good starting point and I hope you enjoy this and to see if you like this lens or not. Comment on your thought on the focusing or the rendering. All the photos is uh, shot with a uh, standard profile, so JPEG out of JPEG and this video as well. See you soon.